Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. For more videos like this, also watch my other house channel, a and Snakes and Stuff. My youngest son's channel, Henny's Toys and Games. Or my oldest son's channel, Little Chris 10. Today we're going to be talking about Illinois, so please like this video, the video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's dive in. In Illinois, a group that includes legislators, scientists, and consumer rights defenders is pushing for tough rules on synthetic THC items. They stress the need to keep an eye on this market because the products look just like normal snacks. This effect has support from both major political parties because they're worried about how strong these substances are and the danger they could be to kids. Raising, rising worries about synthetic THC goods without rules in different parts of Illinois it's become more common to see things like candy and chips with man-made THC for sale in places like convenience stores and smoke shops. These items can be hard to tell apart from regular snacks, but come with big safety concerns. Tiffany Chappelle Ingram, who leads the Cannabis Business Association of Illinois, pointed out the risk by saying that they look just like Fritos, right? These corn chips pack a punch with 600 milligrams of Delta 8 THC, which can really knock your socks off. Legislative Response to Unregulated Markets The government is stepping up because people are worried. Senator Majority Leader Kimberly Lightfield D. Mayward pitched Senate Bill 3926 to tighten the reins on hemp products. <coughs> the plan is to set up rules just like for regular cannabis. Thank tough requirements for licenses, tests, and what's written on labels. On top of that, the bill wants to hit pause on fake buzz makers like Delta 8 and Delta T, 10 THC until we know they're safe. Senator Caroline Venzela de Chicago tossed in her two cents, saying we need this new law. So buyers aren't left in the dark. Without it, shoppers don't stand a chance at making smart choices. This move aims to lay down the law to look after the little guy and everyday folks, too. Evidence of inconsistency and risk. Data that raises red flags backs the legislation and act Laboratories, Bob Miller, is in charge of science and not long ago checked 21 Delta 8 items. What he found wasn't great. Just four hits near their advertised strength. Nine went over legal THC limits. And a few even had toxic metals like lead in them. <clears throat> Potential impact on retailers. The new rules are hotly debated by shop owners who worry about losing money if fake THC goods can't be sold anymore. But those for the bill say it's okay because it still lets stores sell safe hemp stuff thanks CBD, which means businesses sticking to rules won't get hurt and buyers stay safe too. They're the Plain City Counters on the same page with the state. They're thinking about cutting off sales of unchecked hemp products. The city has proposed a ban on hemp products, just like Willing, Geneva, and North Aurora. In the Plains, shots breaking the woods could be fined 200 to $750. But there has some time to sell what they've got in stock first. Lobbyists pressed for clearer hemp rules. 
In Illinois, nationwide advocates are demand, demanding better rules for hemp items. Chris Lindsay of the American Trade Association of Cannabis and Hemp insists that we need Washington's help after hemp was removed from the list of illegal substances. Some people assumed all hemp related activities were legal. The DEA and FDA don't agree with that. We're urging Congress to specifically provide their interactions because simply taking hip off that list doesn't mean businesses can do whatever they want with it. Remove controlled substances from that hemp and then name it hemp. A call for consumer protection. In Illinois, the goal of the proposed law is to protect people, especially kids, from accidentally using very strong products. That could hurt them. The bill doesn't want to make holding these items are crime, but doesn't tend to allow the Illinois Department of Agriculture to find companies that don't follow new rules. Conclusion The Senate Bill, Bill 3926, is an important move in keeping Illinois customers safe from synthetic THC goods. That can be risky. It wants to create strong rules. No sales of deceptive or unsafe items decrease. Support real business and make buyers more informed. Everyone's watching Springfield as they discuss this very important ma matter. Hemp derived substances could soon face new rules all over the country. Thank you for watching this video and peace out to the next one.